guys, so today's video is going to be a video on basically the pros and cons of like losing weight slash the struggle of being like fat, you know? Basically one of the biggest like cons slash struggle of being overweight was being the fat friend and I honestly was the fat friend. Like I literally was a fat friend. I feel like people kept me around just because I was way bigger than them so they thought that it made themselves look better um literally when I started losing weight I lost most of the friends that I had um except for my best friend Angela I didn't lose her <laughs> oh yeah also this edge control sucks so much like so don't pay attention to this like this edge control is just a hot mess. another struggle slash like con about being overweight um would be that people judge me and like how i ate so if i was eating a hamburger like people would literally stare at me like is she really eating a hamburger like does she really need that but the thing is like someone could be skinny and still be unhealthy so judge your mama I just hated that. I felt uncomfortable when eating in public sometimes because I just really felt like people were staring at me and judging me and I didn't like it. Something else that I hated was going like clothes shopping. That was a big con for me. Like I really did not like going shopping for clothes. The only thing that I really liked to wear was sweatpants, hoodies, and sometimes jeans. Jeans really made me uncomfortable but I still wore them anyway, but that was literally the only thing that I wore. My arms were always covered up because I didn't like the way my arms looked, and my arms usually are always covered up now just because I still don't like the way my arms look, but you know, I was way more covered up than like no like skin was showing except for like my hands. Like that was the only thing you could see. Like I had a hoodie up to my neck, and it was long sleeved of course, but literally you can only see my hands and my face. That was about it. So in the summer, it got really, really hot. <laughs> Another con is I really did not like going shopping and I didn't like going shopping with my friends because my friends would be like oh no you know I think it could fit you you're not even that big lies um and I'd be like oh I don't know and they're like yeah just try it on and then I would go to try it on and I don't look good in it it doesn't fit and then now I have to come out and be embarrassed and tell them it didn't fit like they'll be like how come you didn't come out and show us like what's wrong blah blah, blah. and I'm like yeah it didn't fit and they're like what do you mean it didn't fit like I felt like I was living in that scene from white chicks like oh no honey you don't need a bigger size let me like stuff you in this that's exactly how I felt um and like sometimes I just want my friends to leave me alone about it like no it didn't fit I don't want to try to get like I don't want you to see me with it on like no I can't do it so that would make me really upset and give me anxiety when going out shopping with my friends like they would come out and show their outfits that they tried on because everything fit them. Um, like, hey, this is how it looks. Yeah, woohoo! You know, and me, I'm like stuck in my dressing room, trapped, like trapped in the closet by R. Kelly, scared to come out because either A, it didn't fit, or B, it doesn't look good. Another thing is, I would always, like I said, wear hoodies and stuff, and people would always ask me, like, aren't you hot? Like, it's so hot outside and you have on a jacket or a sweater or a hoodie and I'm like no I'm not hot but inside I would be like sweating balls super hot like it was terrible but I just was so uncomfortable wearing anything else that I had to like struggle through that so it would literally be 100 degrees and I have on a sweater or you know something like that and it was terrible like it was really really terrible I know that there are some big girls who don't care about their arms showing and stuff like that and they're comfortable but that was not me I was always in some kind of jacket hoodie sweater like whatever my arms were covered up and I was nine times out of ten super freaking hot I was always paranoid that I wasn't gonna fit somewhere so like I would go to Six Flags you know how they have the roller coasters and stuff I was always paranoid that I was gonna be one of those people they told that they couldn't ride the ride like I was always paranoid about that I was paranoid about like oh yeah you know when you're like out someplace and you gotta like squeeze through somewhere my friends would squeeze through no problem and I would literally have a fear that if we had to like squeeze through a gate or something I don't know that I wouldn't be able to fit through the gate or whatever so it really like traumatized me. Another con slash like struggle about being overweight is that I literally felt like everyone was judging me like nobody could be judging me but it felt like they were judging me so like if I was walking you know my shirt was a little tight and I just saw people staring at me I would instantly think oh they're staring at me because you know I'm fat and you know they could see a roll or two and they're judging me um so 
Like, sometimes people will judge you, but then other times it's literally just all in your head because you feel like, you know, I'm overweight, I'm fat, everybody's judging me. It's not good. Another thing would be low self-esteem. Like, my self-esteem was super low. Now, I know people who are overweight and they are comfortable in their own skin and they're fine and cool and everything's dandy. My self-esteem was literally so incredibly low. I just felt like the ugly duckling that nobody wanted me like it was intense like now obviously my self-esteem is higher but back then when I was overweight it was just terrible and I was always down about myself I would make fun of myself before anybody else could make fun of myself I would point out that I was fat before anybody else could point out that I was fat you know if I point it out then it's not such a bad thing versus like somebody else pointing it out first because then I just feel really terrible about it I felt like insults is another con like people would insult me and like the first thing that they would point out is that, oh, you're fat, you know? Like, whenever my sis me and my sister would get into an argument, the first thing that she would say is, you know, I was fat. Um, sometimes my family did poke fun at me about my weight, and, you know, they're, they think that they're just being, like, you know, poking fun, it's nothing serious, you know, they're just joking, but really it's not a joke because I really am overweight, I really am fat, and you pointing that out and joking about it is not a joke because it's my reality. I feel like family members need to be more observant about things like that because, yeah, you think that it's a joke and it's funny, ha ha ha, but to me that is literally my reality and what I'm living, so... That doesn't help me at all. Something else is butt crack. Your butt crack is literally always out. Like, my butt crack was out a lot of the times. Like, I don't know, if I had on a shirt for once and not a hoodie, my butt crack was probably out. Like, when I sit down, I would always have to make sure I'd, like, you know, be either pulling my shirt down or pulling my pants up or doing both um, so that my butt crack wasn't out. <laughs> and it was really, really bad and annoying. Another thing is, like, I knew that I was a plus-size girl, that I was big, but I just hated going in the plus size section like I just felt terrible and I know that I'm big I know that everyone looking at me knows that I'm big and they know that I belong in the plus size section but it was just so embarrassing something else is there was always that one person that would be like you know you just start trying to lose weight and for me I'm like I know that I need to lose weight I just told you that I'm trying to lose weight and then you tell me you know I really think that you're trying to lose weight like that's annoying the thing is it was hard for me to find clothes that I thought were actually cute because I feel like all the cute things are made for the smaller girls. Back when I was overweight, there wasn't like a Forever 21 Plus. Um, that didn't exist. Um, Torrent was out, but once again, I just got anxiety going in there. And it was also very expensive. Like, there were no cheap, cute, plus-size clothes. Guys don't want you. I spent my whole entire high school career and half of my college career with guys not wanting me. I literally just watched my friends in relationships. Like, that was my love life, was looking at my friends and being like, oh yeah, girl, you know, I'm happy for you. That was that. Guys didn't like me. They found me unattractive. If anything, I was like the home girl. Like the girl that they could talk to and the girl that they went to to try to like get with their friends. So they'd be like, hey Jen, what's up with your friend? Like, that's all I heard. I never had a guy when I was overweight say that he liked me or was interested in me. I never, let me repeat that. I never had a guy come to me and tell me that he likes me or I never talked to a guy or a guy asked me on a date or a guy asked me for my number it was that bad like just I didn't have any type of <sighs> I didn't have any type of relationship with the opposite sex that wasn't just strictly friendship and that's terrible <laughs> Like, that's just the fact of the matter. Especially living in L.A., like, the land of the fit, where everybody is, like, you know, all into fitness and looking good and being plastic and whatever. I'm maybe making a few generalizations, but, you know, that's about right. <laughs> um, it was definitely not going to be in the plan for me, but I know people who were like, oh, if you lived in Houston when you were like that, you would have got plenty of men, blah, 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 but... I digress, I lived in LA so I didn't get plenty of men and I didn't until I lost weight. Sometimes people would ask me, are you going to wear that? Like, yes, I'm going to wear that. Which is why most of the time I just wore hoodies and sweatpants because if I did wear something else, people would ask me, would I, like, are you going to wear that? Yes, I'm going to wear this. And then I would just be uncomfortable. It was like a cycle, so I just stuck to wearing hoodies and sweatpants. My back did hurt. Like, I did have back pain from being overweight, and I felt like my boobs were really big. I was really big. Something else was that I literally always got holes in my jeans in the thigh area. Like, I did. Literally, I just had holes there all the time, and 
it was bad like it was so bad like I don't know it's embarrassing to always have holes in your jeans like when I would sit down you could see my thighs bulge out of my jeans because my thighs rubbing together have now created a hole and have ripped them there I don't know guys I really feel like I can go on and on and on about the struggles of being a fat girl slash the cons of being overweight so I'm just going to end the video now I'm going to do a pros video of like losing weight and stuff like that well, if you guys want it. So give this video a thumbs up if you want it. Tell me your struggles down below in the comments that you've had um, while being overweight. We probably have, you know, the same struggles or had the same struggles. If you do want to lose weight and you're watching this video, I definitely suggest trying it. Let me know if you want any tips or tricks on, like, how to lose weight. You can always contact me on Snapchat, Instagram, whatever, and I will answer you. I'm a little slow, but I will get to you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. This Edge control is the devil, guys. It's literally the devil. Like, I need, if you have edge control suggestions, comment please because.